Yo, what up dudes? Welcome to the video. Today I want to talk about a major league change that was made to Fortnite that Epic basically told nobody about. And this change basically makes it so that weapons now for Fortnite uh, controller players, if you're playing on controller and you want to toggle between your weapons, you can basically switch as fast as, say, like a keyboard and mouse player with instant binds and you can instantly go to whatever you want. And for those who are saying, okay, that already existed, that was quick weapon beta, you're not wrong. But hear me out, there was a secret update that was just made to make Quick Weapon Beta even better, even faster, and even dunkier uh, if you want to be getting your shotgun out and your weapons out as quick as possible to kill people. So, what am I talking about? It's in this menu right here, uh, in Input. Uh, underneath that, Quick Weapon Beta. So what this does is it makes it so that everything... Or, or sorry, um, your face buttons will correspond with a part of your, um, like, some one of your item slots. So, we'll just, I'll turn off Diamond Delay just to showcase it. But you want to have it set to slot 2 and then instant toggle. So, the way this works is if I hold down R1, I can select what weapon I want. And then if I just tap R1 once, it instantly goes to my shotgun. But, uh, what the problem people were having before with uh, Quick Weapon Beta was that it had delay on it. So if you went to um, basically swap your weapons, you would get this delay. And the reason you were getting delay, and let me show you on my controller right now. Basically, the way it worked before is, say I'm on my, my four slot here. I'm on my Scar. I want to use that for range. But I want to go to my shotgun. If I'm holding R1 right now, see how it just kind of displays this option? It displays this menu. Um, now, as soon as I release, I switch to my shotgun. Or say if I want to go to my... Right back to it. I had to release R1 to go to that weapon. And again, I can't go to my shotgun until this releases. Well, they've actually changed the setting that allows this to speed up. So if I go into my menu and I go over to uh, Quick Weapon Beta. For one, you can turn off Diamond Delay. You don't need to see that thing pop up on screen. But two, you want to go down to Instant Toggle. Now, this was added just this week and Epic told nobody about it. But basically, you want to turn that to on. And what it'll now do, again, say I'm on my fourth slot here and I want to go to my shotgun as fast as possible. As soon as I hit R1, which is my quick weapon button, it instantly swaps. And now the thing is, is it'll swap to my shotgun, but say I want to actually go to my SMG in my second slot. I'll hit R1, I'll be holding R1 and hit square, and it will go to that. But now again, I want to go back to my shotgun, I hit R1. And it instantly swaps. So if you were trying out Quick Weapon Beta and you were getting that delay, we're hitting your, your Quick Weapon button. For me, it's my R1 button. Whenever you were hitting that, it wasn't instantly swapping. That will fix it now. So as soon as I hit R1, I'm on my shotgun. And then R1 circle, I go to my like long range weapon. Um, this is an incredible way to basically play like you are a keyboard and mouse player. The other thing I'll say about it, make sure that you always assign your slots to the same weapons every single time. That will help you out a lot with this in making it feel like you're playing on keyboard and mouse. Um, but basically, you want to have that muscle memory built in. Okay, R1 and X always goes my last slot. I might have my like movement or special item there. Uh, for my range weapon, I'll go R1 circle. Uh, for my shotgun, I'll just hit R1 once. And for my like sort of close quarters weapon, I'll hit R1 square. The other thing is that you have it set up so that toggle behavior is slot 2. Just spamming R1. So going, just hitting R1, I'll go back and forth between my first slot and my second slot. First slot, second shot. So if I want to have a shotgun and then an SMG, I'll know that. So like if I'm in an active build fight, right? I know I can just hit R1, have my shotgun out, hit a good follow-up shot, and then I can hit my like follow-up shots with my SMG. Just something to think about for how you set this up. I got no mats.
Let's go, baby! Woo!